a lot of damage over that fight, and XQC not able to get in position to really use his ultimate effectively. Well, just to answer some questions that we're seeing in chat, this Yikes team is X Denial, so that is maybe where you recognize a lot of these names from. A lot of free push coming up right now as Selfless not in any sort of position to contest. Likely going to contest around first bend, and as always, Sinatra and Kresnik are nearing their ultimates. They're going to have a very large advantage uh, momentarily in this fight. Yeah, and obviously we're having some frame rate issues at the moment, and ZP is obviously working on that one, but DeFran's gotten up the top side, up behind and the biotic field just to help him get through that damage. Kresnik finds XQC, he was, to be fair, pretty much out on his own with the rest of his team were trying to deal with those DPSs in their back line. Yeah, they just took the high ground away from them, were able to rotate around, that's why they didn't pressure any early. Dante gets slept here, he's desuited, so they're trying to stagger him out as much as possible. They will finally clean that up, and that's just a really nice vanilla fight from them. They didn't have to use anything there, just positional advantage, getting to Fran over the top, all the damage he lays in, that fight's already over. Sinatra gets hooked late and will just drop the grab. Ooh, despite that though, the, the shield of XQC is held up, Chris can't get the Earth Shadow in there, but it don't matter, Fran gets two kills for the price of one Helix Rocket, and then finishes up the hunt with his ultimate attack visor, of course. Again, Selfless can hold anywhere on the map, wherever they want, they'll take the fight. And it's just going to be very difficult for XQC. The damage coming in that hate shield is generally going to be... Right, look at their positioning. They're still on the payload, and eventually the cows have to come home, and so do Yikes. They need to come back to this payload, but even before Space gets hooked in properly, Sinatra's already picked him off here. And the ultimates are always at least one or two available here for Selfless. This next fight's going to be featuring Attack Visor and a Sound Barrier for them. We need to see a big Earth Shadow from XQC. The Nano Boost was not effectively used on him in the last fight. It's the last push, and they have to really decide where they want to go in here. You already see the Diva going up on top of... Uh, Defran, who's up there with the oh. 76, but he's got Roadhog in tow, so they're gonna desuit the D.Va already, and Dante will get it back, has to bust out one of his alts, and Sound Barrier on the card. Yep, both teams now as well, Dak gets a little bit later in there now, Dante is resuited up, use the ultimate just to get the mech back, so that defensive matrix still could be an issue. Great hook, Kresnik gets pulled into the middle of the enemy team, but no one can get on him. Nice shield being used by Sinatra to keep that damage away, but eventually he has to fall into pitch lane, of course, to the hood. That's a massive Graviton Surge, though. Five people pulled in that. The damage's not quite there yet, and a an excellent body grenade from Gigapop to keep his team alive. That could be really nasty. Not there at all because Sinatra died very early right after the grab. He was already low, was able to clutch out the last bits of damage he needed for the grab and simply threw it down. It might be the one time where that comes back to bite them because that seemed like a very lost fight, an ambitious engagement there from Selfless. It's how they play, so you got to take the good with the bad, but they're going to be able to get back and at least maybe stall out this point. A charge from Kresnik should come in, but Whole Hog put you back. Yeah, Whole Hog as well. It's going to keep Kresnik out of the position to actually land that charge and then he's just sort of set, left there like a stunned mullet. Pretty easily killed. A nice little hook off the backside from Spacey pulled Dak out of the rest of his team. And this is a full-scale retreat from Selfless. They need to try and set up. They can't get staggered any further. And at least Dykes looks like they're going to take the foot off the pedal for now. It's a minute 17 seconds. And they've done well to get here, but still, they don't have much time to finish the map. They were holding very well in the first couple of points. These last few fights just up against the wall have really hurt them. Emong's going to open up with a whole hard, largely negated by the defense matrix of D.Va, but it does push them back in position-wise. Very likely the last chance we're going to see from Yikes, and they don't really have much to work with here. Sinatra gets the boost. Yep, Dante kept his, nice uh, his Divas uh, life alive there. Now XQC actually blocks out the Earth Shadow, goes for a mutual charge, but Sinatra's back in his feet. Brilliant bio grenade on Sinatra. He's so low, he's got to back away, but he can't get away from the hammer. XQC, and it's followed up with an Earth Shadow. That's going to be all the kills coming through here for Yikes. They conduct that fight very nicely there to bait out that play from the opposite Reinhardt. Nicely done by XQC. They're sailing towards the end here. It's going to be Struggle Town for Selfless to stop them. It's, they're going to have a chance, though, because they have Pulse Bomb. You'd be surprised if Snatcher does not get grab up during this fight. They do get all six out here. The offensive summary comes down, answered by the defensive. Yep. Defran manages to get a Pulse Bomb towards Ginger Pop. The self destruct going to come in. Where's the shielding? There, are, there isn't any. Selfless loses two into that self destruct. He might get D super by it as well. Nicely done. It looks like Selfless couldn't find their footing in this last stage here. The constant aggression from the Ice. Get some the map completion. Score zero to three. Switching sides. Anything really interesting that you saw there, Flame? Uh, I mean, it took them a lot longer, I guess, than I think that they would have liked. I think that the Roadhog coming out from space was really, really good. It's just weird. It's hard, I think, for Dante to get a footing in this game because he was playing a lot of the Diva into the Sinatra Zarya. 
So he's like trying to kill the Fran, but the Fran constantly had Dax sitting behind him with the heals, even if like there was no heal station. So I think maybe they'll get rid of the D.Va this round, or I would hope so. But towards the end, XQC definitely really won that Reinhardt battle. I think he blocked a lot of Kresnik's Earth Shatters, hit his own Shatters. Um, but stuff like that between XQC and the Roadhog hooks, I think Denial really got the edge at the end. I mean, Selfless came really close to even holding in the second point. The Fran and Emong had high ground. And when Sinatra threw that ult down, they just couldn't get around the corner to be able to kill everyone in there. But if they wipe there, maybe, you know, temp, uh, Yikes is never able to Hello. regain control. Yeah, I mean, Mitch brought it up to, like, Sinatra's Gravitons this game weren't, they were never really capitalized on. So I think stuff like that actually made a really big difference because there were a few fights where I think they should have or maybe potentially could have won, but... There was a lot of really good counterplay to the grabs, I think, from the side of denial. It makes you wonder as well if he's got the same mindset as he has on a tracer or, or more of an individualistic role, where he's using that graviton more of his own volition than sort of is hoping or expecting his team to, to capitalize on that in a very short space of time, regardless of where they're positioned. Well, one of the reasons he got so many grabs yesterday is that he would just two-person grab and he was alive and with full health and full charge and just kind of rinse and repeat, kill those two people, be his own follow-up. He struggled with the grabs and, you know, you forgive the early ones and then later on they just didn't get anything done because he was too low to be his own follow-up, which is what worked well for them yesterday. We'll see if that continues. Yep, okay, well, we're going to go in, into the second half here. It's going to be Yikes on the defensive side and an early fire grenade is going to be a bit of annoyance there for Selfless. Nicely done there by Ginger Pop. Fuck, they'll be able to heal through all of that, of course. Dak is going to be there. He's actually with the team now, not skating some part of the map, so that's pretty good. XQC goes for the charge, but he doesn't hit anything. Another beautiful fire grenade coming out from the side of Yikes. That's going to force Selfless away. Emons and Dak are going to have to work off into the side here. Unfortunately, Michael's better to stay alive. In the whole meantime, the friend's been pumping out damage. Dante's going down. Now, if you see to Hood is in a very dangerous position, he needs to back away, and Selfless are just menacing on this point. The style in which XQC plays Reinhardt can be exploited if you start playing around it. They have to notice that even on their first offense for Yikes, XQC charged every chance he got. The moment there was a small window to try to charge the opposing Reinhardt, he went for it every single time, and that's exactly what happened there. They wait for the charge, they bubble it, and punish it. This is working quite nicely. For Selfless, this triple tank, of course, we're sort of used to seeing him play the more 2 2 2. Space gets hooked in, but he's able to avoid most of the damage. He got shielded out there as well by Dante, who's definitely able to have a different impact on the game now that he's switched away from that Diva 2 desire. Obviously, no Roadhog, though. That might be a mild concern here for Yikes at this stage. They need to be able to fight. That shield from XQC is getting battered away. There's a lot of damage coming through. Zardas already landed up false bomb on anyone at all, and that charge from XQC was very risky. He gets taken down immediately, and that's a Graviton that you can follow up on. It was a gutsy grab, too, because the D.Va was right there. I actually switched to his point of view just to make sure it actually went through. It eventually does, and again, that's where he gets his own follow-up. Look at that. Grab now at 25% already. That's what he did all day yesterday to get these grabs running in a constant cycle of gravity-induced death, and they're just rolling right now. They've got all the alts that they want to do. A lot is going to matter with Dante here, and then who does Ginger Pop end up boosting? I think you can grab and boost XQC that gets him his Earth Shatter partially through, but they have to work with Less off. There's the grab. Yeah, and that's the XQC boost as well, but he can't get close enough. The whole rock pushes him away, and then the Earth Shatter puts him on his rear end. Dufran fights the Helix Rock in order towards Ginger Pop, and XQC another desperate charge in again to no avail. He tries to Earth Shatter, but he only catches on towards Emong. Sinatra was keeping his team so well shielded up during the process, and of course, Michael 3D with another Vitic Grenade to stave off that damage. Pizza finds the one on towards Dak with a Pulse Bomb, but that's all he's really done in this game. He's been very, very quiet when he's not playing Farah, and they are struggling. Yikes, have to fall back now. It's going to be that second checkpoint found by Selfless. I guess the question is, when you look at Pizza, is can he play things other than the Pharah? And that's not really knocking him, we just haven't quite seen it yet. It's DeFrom's kill feed, we're all just looking at it. I think he got five finishing blows in that last one, and guess who's almost got Graviton? Rhymes with Shmanatra. <laughs> Shmanatra? Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> Well, yeah, this could be really nasty, of course. The friend has attack visor as well. That's going to be the grab coming in, and the friend sitting right on back. And look at the damage the fire grenade. Okay, to be fair, it's easy to hit in there, but it looks pretty darn beautiful with all those health bars going purple, and the damage to follow is good from Selfless as well. They keep rolling. They've barely been stopped so far in this map, and that fight was no exception. Just rolling all the way through. It has been no one stopping them there's been very little resistance there's not been a one fight for yikes on this defense and they don't have anything to do it now they're just hoping to play the stall game as they switch on to a may here yeah okay so, i mean a may here we've we actually had flame which we had one earlier on yesterday i think it was but now it's going to attack fights are coming through but the frame gets slipped straight away nice connection by ginger pop 
And now the hack has to be careful. He needs to skate up the wall. Kresnik's desperately trying to keep his team sealed up, but that's been taken down. Now the Earth Shadow will only find space at this stage. SQC is going to get his own nano boost, but the wall almost works against him. He gets stunned, pushed back even. And XQC also with the anti heal needs to go. Defran is still up high, doing so much damage here. And the fight's starting to shift in favor of self, but now they're going to push him away. The Graviton, where's the follow up? There ain't none. It's a sound barrier and a completion for selfless. Five minutes to one minute. No mathematician, but I think that Selfless has a slight advantage here. Slasher, explain to us what happened there. It seemed pretty similar to yesterday's stomp on this same map. I mean, you know, the, really that round was evidence at the very beginning when XQC Char got immediately anti nated and killed, and that pretty much set the tone of the entire half. Uh, they were, I mean, Selfless is very good at baiting out alts and also making Yipes be too aggressive. I feel in a lot of yeah. these engagements, and then punching them, you know, pretty easily. I don't like the decision to run the D.Va. Like, I think that they should have just kept space on the Roadhog. I think space was, like, the biggest reason why they even finished the map on offense. So I think putting yeah. him on the D.Va into Sinatra's Zarya was a mistake to begin with. But it's hard, because XQC obviously wanted to play more aggressive with those charges, but Imam's just sitting there with the hook, or there's a sleep dart in his face so i don't really agree even with the nano boosts onto xqc which seems to be like their strategy i think that you should just be giving it to the zarya's but they, they're playing hero roulette on the side of yikes right now they're kind of swapping up their roles a lot i think we've seen three or at least two different people play zarya two different people play tracer it's a little why weird are they to afraid me. to play pharaoh mercy or any sort of dive why are we not seeing this at all from yikes I mean, this, uh, this map would be solid for Fire Mercy. It would be an okay attempt, I think. So as an update to people that are watching the stream right now, we will be restarting after this map. There are issues with Comcast in the area, so we're going to lower the bitrate and hope that that fixes some of the issues that are going on right now. All right, thank you very much, C. People check back with him with afterwards. XQC, he gets wrecked there. Nice by a grenade, followed up by a fire strike, and DeFran found the extra damage. Dante on the tracer now. Everyone's getting a crack at it. I have to see if he can do a better job than Pizza last map. It wasn't convincing at all. Michael 3D needs to keep his team healed up with the Bardic Grenade. Did connect from Ginger Pop. That's going to force them right inside the corridors here. They're backing away. Kresnik obviously is bereft of teammates after they have to try and retreat into the house. And he goes down to Kresnik. Now there's four players on the point. Make it three, but of course, Imong's trying to do something about this. Yep, you heard me right. Imong on that tracer tried to defend this one out here. Pressure over towards XQC. He's with Sinatra at least. The Michael 3D is on the top side. Good sleep on the Roadhog, but... Selfless is slowly it, yeah. losing out in this fight. It's too late. Space was just hunting. He got Kresnik first. He found Defran. He snuck up behind Michael, who didn't see him to the last second. Was able to get the sleep, but by then it was far too late. So Space's Roadhog has actually done a lot of work for them here. Imang's going to respawn by running his own Roadhog. We are fully into overtime, Mitch. Yeah, absolutely. So no second chances here. If Yikes get knocked off the payload at all, that's going to be their run complete. They've got a Graviton Surge and a Pulse Bomb, so that's a pretty darn good combination if I've ever seen one. Now it's a matter of making that connect. It's going to be very important. There's no sound barrier for Dak at the moment, so there is an opening here just to really get that one stuck down and get most of the damage. Defran, though, is going to be a pain in the butt. He's going to sit in the back and just harass here. That's a two-man Graviton. Dak gets on there as well. It's three Beautiful. kills. Nicely done. That's exactly what was needed. This is going to let that payload move further. It's a nice body grenade by Marco 3D, but no one's there to get the extra damage. He just leaps upon that payload. He knows he's done. Yeah, they're even spamming out to Fran, who was up top, but he's all alone back there. It'd be nice if they could send someone and go get him. That would be a beautiful stagger. He doesn't have a whole lot of outs. He's just going to sit in back. What space they can't do is forget about him. Yeah, Space will go for him here as well. Just an easy hook to Fran. Knows he needs to get the heck out of dodge. So that leaves a five-man... Uh, I guess team on the payload here for Yikes. So they have weakened themselves somewhat to try and deal with the friend. We'll have to see how that sort of plays out now. Space just gives up the chase. He knows he needs to rejoin his team. They can get an extra point here, and that will be huge. Now it's going to be a nano boosted whole hog from Space. He breaks the shield wall, and he force the president to drop it. They're going to push them back now. Emon drops down. Defran finds Ginger Pop, though. He comes in from behind. They were worried about that. The attack fires are just playing the end. Space knew he was there, but he missed his hook. He heard the attack visor go down, but unable to swivel quickly enough to go get it. They were so close to this, but another closeout Graviton from Sinatra will seal the deal. But that's a pretty solid push for a minute on the clock. Yeah, that was really nice. I mean, they, they made good progress. Of course, the Graviton in the streets was really important. Defran wasn't really able to do much from his flanking position until that last fight, and that was really because it was a grab for Sinatra. What do you reckon, boys? It was good, but they probably need to go all the way. Just considering how much time is on the clock here for Selfwitz, it's going to be really difficult. Maybe they found the comp that they finally want with Zahn, Zarya, and Dante on Tracer. I mean, for me, putting space on Roadhog, that is his best hero. 
Um, out of the three, you know, like, that is his specialty. I think that's part of the problem you might see with Yipes, is that none of them have the very best of the best of that one hero, but they can all flex onto a few different things. Which we've seen, of course, Matt, but, it, you know, it's a bit late, isn't it, for Yikes to actually come up with the answer now? Yeah, I mean, I guess the good news for them is, though, that they did kind of figure it out. I think that their defense now should be a lot better. They put themselves in a decent position. I mean, they only had a minute. Getting into the second checkpoint is still pretty good by that standard, but... I mean, if maybe if they were able to get that kill on Dufresne at the end, it might have actually been the difference maker, but... I think that they're in a decent spot now. I think the Zarya will definitely pay off more on Zah. It seems like he's a lot more comfortable on it than Dante was. All right, well, we're going to jump in in a couple seconds here now. It's going to be selfless to attack, to win. All they need to do is essentially get to five. So get two checkpoints in this game, and they've got five whole minutes to do it. That's very promising, especially for how fast selfless completed the first time around. You cannot put a foot wrong if you're yikes. Uh, their offense has been unstoppable. It's been a blitzkrieg of aggression. They didn't lose a single fight last time on their first offense, so five minutes is a world of time for them. I mean, interesting to see where Defran goes. They're trying to rotate a little bit up. They've got a lurking Emon trying to go find something in the back. He gets behind space, hits the hook. Yeah, yes, he gets slept though. Emon oh. put down. Space gonna be able to clean him up pretty comfortably, and Kresnik can't get away either, so two of the tanks now down, down for selfless at this stage, and Michael's gonna follow. Space is hitting those hooks when they count. The friend at least is going to try and entrench him deep in the back lines here, but Space is not going to have it. He's going to chase after him, and he's being sped up by Dehun. That's how badly they want to get rid of him. It's like a it's like a Buddy Hill episode, and Space fights him there as well to finish him off. And there's been a couple times where Defran has gotten extremely ambitious on 76, and he's talented enough that he's able to do it, but there comes a point where it might bite him. There's a lot of 76s who try those crazy flanks and ends up really hurting their team. Well, this is part of Selfless's attack on this map. It's actually pretty well known. It's yeah. super simple about how they set Dufresne up on their high ground. I'm actually a little surprised to see Selfless actually push so close to the point without Dufresne. Oh, he just joined him now, so he's he's back on that lower ground. So they're going forward now. Dak and Dufresne are going to set up on that high ground yet again. They need to avoid the hook, and they do. He sidesteps someone in space now, has to just content himself with doing damage from there. Attack are going to come out here over the top. It's going to be important. It's going to be a whole hunk to try and keep him away, and it works. Dante finds Dufresne. Ginger Pop's being harassed by Dak in the back line, but he can't stay around. And so far, not a whole a lot of progress. This needs to be a massive grab, but beautiful Earth Shadow to stop anyone from getting the whole hog. That could have been a damage they needed to break through Yikes with that Graviton. But they stopped him. They put him on the ground. They interrupted his ultimate. And that'll be that. Brilliant counter shatter. And they've gotten almost nothing out of these ultimates. That tactical visor got very little. Defran has gotten so little done on 76. He's moving over to Tracer on this point. Kresnik and Michael could combine for something, but they have to be very careful. Uh, Zah hit a really nice grab in their last offense, so he's got one in the barrel already. Now here it comes. Hex is going to be two caught in there. One gets shielded up there, but they both go down. There's nothing you can do about a pulse bomb. Sinatra gets hooked in. He's on his own. There's nothing Michael 3D could really do to protect him. And Emo also gets cut down half of the time. The Selfless had to start this and get this first point has already elapsed. That's a very good sign for Yikes, and they are really digging their heels in. This is great for the team just mentally, because they got rolled over. Absolutely rolled over on their first defense here. And the fact they've been able to win a couple fights, even if they lose this next one, it gives them kind of that little mental edge they need that they can hang with these guys. And it's been really good for them. Dufran is trying to poke in the back line, a little tracer v tracer there while the tanks go on. It's such an interesting fight, and it could determine it. You do not want to lose your tracer this early, but the tanks will battle here comes Sunder. Sound barrier to start off the fight for Selfless. Defran's going in. What's he looking for? The Earth Shadow actually connects on it. Was Ginger Pop, and he does get picked off by Defran. He finds two quick kills as he jumps into the back line. And also, Tracer was found there. Kresnik's lucky not to get hooked in there. He was just around the corner of the other word hotel. And that's very, very big for Selfless not to lose him. Emon drops this armor. Now the sound barrier comes out from Yikes. Graviton, neutral Graviton in the same spot. It's so hard to follow, but the Earth Shadow was there. XQC lays down the law. Kresnik able to find one and able to stay around only because Mike has been frantically healing him and trying to keep him up there. I don't know what really can be done after Sinatra falls down. The pulse bomb, Krizik just takes it. Now he gets anti healed Not much you can do about that one. 1 minute 37. Selfless don't have the luxury of waiting for the next fight. Selfless got the first two kills there too. The 1v1 I was talking about, the Tracer v Tracer, that ended up going to Defran, and they got the first two, and it's really been super scrappy and gutsy, just mechanical small performances. I gotta can't say enough about Pizza switching over to the... Zarya, as he was one of the big things to bring it back, but they opened it the exact same way. Dante down. Yeah, they're losing their tracer at the moment. Yikes now a five man squad, but Frank gets taken down. Both tracers missing. It's a 5v5. Emong finds Ginger Pop. Kresnik gets by a grenade and he's going to have to back away. Sinatra's very lucky to survive.
survive. He almost gets charged up against the wall, but that's another one for him. Oh, he finds the hood. Now a bit of aggression. Those spikes just from the backside. Getting those right quick shots in towards the Graviton upside of Selfless. Now they're losing players. Emong is down. Defran at least finds XQC, but Sinatra gets hooked in on the point. Space finds the space and doing so much. The pulse bomb of Defran finds Dante, but he can't get onto the point. He's taking too much damage, and there's 44 seconds left. Space has been doing a lot, but again, he got the allied shield there to keep him alive. It's been the off tank this play for this team. It's been a largely the tank play. Ginger Pop went down early that last fight, but they were still able to sit through it. It's going to be all up to this push for Selfless to continue this map. Yep, Sound Barrier going to come out here as well. No surprise, Selfless needs to use everything they have left to get this point. The charge. XQC finds Kresnik. Yosh out of find anybody at all, but Imong the hack. Chime in first find that kills. It's Sinatra and Kresnik are the next two to drop on the side of Selfless. So Defran has a lot of work He's Give the main damage grab. dealer on this point. He gets caught in the grab. It's Dak actually inside that Graviton. Imong backing away. Knows he has to stay back. Dak is eventually taken down by the hood inside that Graviton. And another Sound Barrier comes out now for Yikes. This could be it. Three seconds, two seconds, and we're out of time. It's going to be overtime. Imong gets to the point, but he's taken down immediately. And Pizza again with another 2k clutch up there. Alt Sinatra comes in with an ult of his own. Does get two to try to turn it around. Desperation time. The whole hog will try to push Dak What's off happening? the point. Yikes is going to bring this back. Five minutes for Selfless and they can't get first. Oh my god. Nepal as well because we know that, you know... That Yikes really want to go to Ilya, uh, sorry, to Oasis a lot. They did it yesterday. It worked out pretty well for him. But we're, we're going to get started here. It's going to be triple tank here for Selfless. Sinatra on that tracer again. We saw this flavor from them yesterday. And the Faramus is back. Let's see if the damage is going to really be connecting. Space is on that Diva, so no Roadhog for him. But XQC finds Michael 3D. A very big dive early on to find the Ana. Well, that's going to hurt their tanks. They've got three of them, and now no Ana in there. And you can't really heal them all just with Doc. And it's going to put him in a bad position. And now you see the tanks falling in short order right after. Iman, Kresnik, Sinatra... One, two, three, all the tanks are dead. Really nice opening there from Yikes. They feel pretty confident on this particular map, and it is a little bit of a different permutation than what we saw in that previous map. Obviously, space back on that Diva, somewhat like what we saw last night. They're looking pretty strong. Ginger Pop almost has that res better to go. He's just keeping his team topped up after that fight, and Dante is a pulse bomb waiting in the wings. Emong switching, though. Going to the Winston, no more Roadhog for him. So really fancy that he might actually need to dive in with Kresnik here. Well, they're going to run two dive tanks here and try to just put some pressure on the back lines and maybe just ignore the combo. That seems to be their plan as Michael tried to ignore it, can't ignore the barrage, sleeps the justice, but Zara awakens from his slumber, still back in this sound barrier, comes down for yikes. Yeah, not enough DPS there for Mimong to take down Zara if he was put to sleep. All he did was really give him a shocking awakening, and Zara took back to the sky. He and Ginger Pop working pretty cutly together, and Defran needs a direct rock from Zara. That's got to hurt. A second one as well, Dak is also down, and this is looking like a dominant start from Yikes. Just dunked on him, and now you have to really worry about the resurrection. If you get a grab, hopefully you can get Mercy in it and take her down, but then you're only getting two. Look at the spacing from this combo as opposed to the rest of their team. They're spaced out knowing that grab's probably going to be up, and they don't have a support to really come through it. They can res, but there's no sound barrier. Well, there's a sound barrier though coming out from Selfless here to make their way through. The res is available, like you said. We'll see what the impact it has because this sound barrier is pretty much expired now. That's now not longer a thing. Oh, that's a Graviton that just got eaten. How mad are you right now, son? Michael 3D finds XQC with the extra damage and the res comes in here for Yikes. Yep, Tempo Res, why not? Bring him back up and Michael 3D down again. And when you're losing your Ana with these tank heavy compositions, it really hurts the ability to be aggressive with these tanks. Their damage eaten is not going to be rehealed back up. Nate is so important for tank heavy comps. And now they're just picking up the pieces here. Kresnik's going to get stalled out too. He's just going to take a. Take a. Oh, no, they <laughs> back. Oh. That, you know, if there was a way that they could have healed Kresnik, they would have tried to do that as well, I think. That was an extreme stall. Look at this, it's 97%, and Imong's gonna go. He needs some backup, he got a bit of shielding. That's about it. The Graviton takes down Michael and Sinatra together. Self-destruct doesn't find anything, but all the ultimates are there for Yikes. They're just going through the motions now. There's gonna be a desperate primal raid from Imong on the point. They're not really focusing him down right now, trying to deal with Kresnik, but he's got the defense matrix up. Now looking for Dak. Get, getting rid of him is gonna be important, but he still gets a sound barrier. It does get on towards Imong, but not onto Kresnik. So only two players benefit from that one, of course, you have to go for it here, but maybe not as effective as it could have been otherwise. Self-destruct on the point for Kresnik, doesn't catch on anyone, Imong is finally taken down, but Kresnik found space they can with his, uh, the self -destruct. Don't res this, you gotta res this, res it right now, Ginger Pop. Where are you, Ginger Pop? You're my only hope, there's the res. Yeah. <laughs> Max is freaking out, I give him that moment there. 
Oh, XTC now gonna dive on and actually self assault. Could have had some control there. It looks like that grab uh, pulse bomb was actually eaten up by defense matrix there. Ultimately, it's overtime though. Here, selfers just have to keep trying to hope that something sticks. But Michael again gets taken down very early in probably his third consecutive fight. With Sinatra falling to space, this is going to be struggle town for selfers. It did lose to Hoon, so now the healing is going to be very difficult to do with Ginger Pop being primarily focused on his Pharaoh, but it's just so much. There's another barrage and a hundred to zero. Someone get Michael an umbrella because he was in the middle of a justice storm. Barrage twice that map. Yeah, and I mean, and I think uh, Kresnik getting our boot back off the edge is just a metaphor for this map. It's just not even remotely close here for Selfless. Uh, All right, Slasher, that was pretty dominant from Yikes. Well, Self has tweeted that they figured out Fire Mercy. Uh, I want them to show me now that they truly have. They have two more rounds to prove that. On Sanctum. That's what I'm saying. They like they were so happy that they won yesterday, but they played against Immortals. I mean, not to knock on Immortals, but Immortals is not a Fire Mercy team. And no. like Zaw is going off. Michael 3D got farmed, I think, like his first three lives. He only got a nano boost when it was like 99 to 0. Emong's like the only reason why that match, or why that map was even a little bit close, because his Primal Rage actually delayed for a good like 20 seconds. Yeah, that's right. And th that was with that second stall phase sort of came. But Hex, we're going to be here into Sanctum. See, we can get an early concussion. Emong does actually almost go off the edge. He saved his jump, oh, luckily, excuse me, from that early concussion. And now the aggression will come in over the top. Yeah, so everyone's jumping in each other's faces. Both these Winston's really trying to get as much impact as possible, but XQC was put to sleep briefly by Michael 3D Slickter, but he's back on his feet now, continuing to do damage. Just a lot of damage being traded, but these are tanky compositions. Emong is very close to dying, though. He got a quick hit from Michael 3D. Kresnik close to him, he's suit and he does. He gets knocked out of his suit. That's actually the first casualty of this entire fight. It's not even a player dying. Finally done, take down. Emong is traded out here. Pizza, though, still can do a lot of work from the sky. Michael 3D all alone in the back, and his sleep dart is on cooldown. He had just used it. The res is going to undo all of that work, and Yikes still in full control of this stage. You see how much more Pizza can do when Kresnik gets desuited now as well. It's super annoying for Kresnik. He's actually still in mini D before, right? He, he, he opted to stay alive and not drop off the edge, so he has to charge that up with the Bunny Blaster. That's super inconvenient at this stage when you need to be in the air contesting Zap. Dante's done such a good job of actually putting a lot of damage onto that diva. She's got that enormous hitbox. You can just empty full clips into her face. The grab will come on. Catches three. Barrage over the top to try to keep his team alive. Kresnik does a good job of mitigating that. Not all the damage they wanted from either side of things is XQC pops primal. That could have been devastating as well. It was also a butter grenade on the entirety of your, uh, of Selfless. So Kresnik really kept his team alive. But it was maybe only a temporary thing. He gets desuited now. Zard just going to drop on down. Kresnik, baby diva again. Not loving life whatsoever gets taken down by Zar's direct hit, and this is Yikes all over it. They are looking just so good. They're looking dominant. Their healing is very, very good as well. Notice that Ginger Pop is all over the map. It's very, very hard for Selfish to get any in these fights. Now I'm just trying to figure out how they're going to crack this. Defran is going to go to Soldier 76, which has always been good on this map, and maybe get some long-distance damage onto the combo to at least dissuade them from the unfettered aggression that they've shown so far. But they're in an alt disadvantage right now, and Sinatra gets boosted into the pit. Yeah, Zar drops him off the edge, and that is really nasty as well. They need that shielding available, Defran. Dante and Pizza are still alive, and now with the Fran taken out of the picture, and Kresnik not in his suit, Pizza can go to work. Another barrage takes down two. He will end up giving his life for this. Sinatra comes in 99 to 0. It is desperation time, but Michael down yet again. There oh goes Ek. There goes Emong off the edge. What is this? Quick. What is this second round going on easy. towards Yikes? Another complete 100 to 0 flame. This is insanity. <laughs> this is easy. I don't know. They, Dante's Tracer is actually playing out of his mind, and Sinatra Zarya is actually, actually just got so farmed. He got booped into the pit twice. The first time he tried to Graviton is like a desperation. Did not work out for them. I think they're gonna have to find a new counter if this is what their plan is. <laughs> Maybe you tweet you figured out Fair Mercy after you figured out Fair Mercy. I and mean, you just like give it a day. They got both map picks. That's the real shocker here. Like this is both of their maps. Yeah, I mean it was on King's Row in that way, they probably figured, well, it's okay. We'll go to control. And really, in retrospect, why would you want to bring it to any of the control maps where Fire Mercy has went well, even one that is one of the weaker of the four? Especially against the team who will play Fire Mercy even on Sanctum, and they don't really care. These guys are just not too bothered. They're just playing the same style now. They switch back over to it. They're looking even more comfortable than they did on King's Row. And Hex, they won that one as well.
It's, it's not even been close is the issue. I just don't know what selfless team we're seeing today. Maybe it's a little bit of both. And he, wow. Oh, wow. Get the brand gets blocked by the combo over the top. That's going to make so much space and so much confidence for Dante on the ground. Doesn't have to worry about his counter. He can just get in there and farm tanks. Yeah, Kresnik now goes for the close-up charge against Spice, and he at least gets him out of the soup, but he's going to struggle to stay around if he's not careful. Sinatra is at least providing that shielding to his team. Pizza again, finding Michael 3D, always on the job. But this time, Selfless managed to take control here. They forced the airborne composition of the Ikes to fight inside the very small area, and they're taken down. Sanctum is not great for the combo, but I also don't think this map is all that great, especially when it's neutral and neither team has control, or you're trying to take it back, because the tanks can just do exactly what they did. Rotate around and hide in the house and force you to fight on the ground, which obviously you're not going to be very good at. Big jump in from XQC is going to get booped away right now, and now the tanks will just rotate back onto the point. They have control. Yeah, it's good to just engage by Selfless. They're pretty much staying together, and even though we see Dante trying to get aggressive in the back line, he hasn't found Michael 3D yet, and the sound barrier coming out, that's very important for Selfless to weather the storm. The flank are coming through. Dante's trying to get in there. Drops a pulse pop, but no one's there to pick it up. It's going to be a failed delivery on that one, and Space gets desuited. The momentum is so much in favor of Selfless right now, as they have so many alts down here to work with. I can't imagine this point going any other way, but them retaining control at 50%. That's what the kill feed ends up confirming as well, as Defran will clean up the scraps there. Very difficult to bring this combo onto the point when it's already established, and they can just shield it up. Yeah, interesting space to drop off the edge there. I think he dropped off. I don't think he got booped at all. So he must have had a plan or something. I'm not really sure what it was. <laughs> really don't know. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, there's going to be a recipe for Digipop. The Hun has the sound barrier. So the defensive soul ults at least are in place. Zal went for a barrage last fight. He didn't connect and he killed himself with it. So he needs to hope for a better performance here. They're trying to chase down Michael 3D. They knew he was on the higher ground. That's a dangerous spot to be as Nana right now up against his team. And that's the sound barrier for Yikes to go in. Well, that's a beautiful pulse spot. All of the healing deleted in one malfunctioning Winston invention. And there goes Emon after. The res is going to make sure that this fight brings them back up to six. Grab comes in late. Yeah, uh, and the defensive matrix is there as well. Oh, Ooh, the Yoshi from the flat. Christy gets taken down. He's still a little bit too low. Good pulse bomb from Defran. He catches the wound. gets a lot of damage across to XQC. Space gets desuited. Dante needs to stand tall on this point now. They need to flip it back, but Defran doesn't want to let this happen. He wants to stall for overtime right now. And that was a beautiful biotic grenade from Michael 3D. It made XQC so weak, and Space is on his own. I don't think it's a chance for Yikes here in this one. And no, overtime is done. Selfless, stay alive. Defran just aced that. He aced it. Dante opened up with the pulse bomb that killed both supports. Towards the end of that fight, Defran countered, killed both supports, then got the remaining four finishes. He just aced that. Well, what now, gents? What now? The roof. I think the roof on that point was actually the difference maker. I mean, they just sat on the point, the entire team of Selfless, and you can't really be a Pharaoh spamming onto the point. You only have two little small doors that a Roadhog's gonna stand there and deny you from, so... I think that if there was a map that they were gonna take, it was that one, but now is their rematch. The most important thing for Selfless is they have to win first team fight. We talked about the difficulty of Pharaoh Mercy retaking sites on control. That's gonna be their best opportunity to win these. Well, now we're going to be heading into Sanctum one more time for this one here. Remember, if the Ikes take this one away, they'll move up in the lower upper bracket, and it will be the lower bracket for Selfless. Not where they want to start off today, of course. And I see no will be changes. Yeah, not where anyone expected them to start off. The boop does come down and knocks tanks close to the edge, but Pizza unable to get those early kills onto the tanks. Damage boost and rockets raining down from above here, just softening everyone up. Still bloodless so far. Another group, beautiful Ooh. concussion. Puts the Reinhardt in the pit. Yeah, we actually see Emon playing the Diva and Sinatra on the Roadhog here. So there have been some changes as I misspoke, of course, for Selfless to try to adapt to this or try to adjust to playing in Sanctum, but they've lost that first fight. That's not ideal. Dante gets hooked outside, but he managed to stick Sinatra with the Pulse Bomb before that happens, so he secures the trade. And you're just not going to win stairs as soon as your Reinhardt goes down like that. Luckily, they are going to be able to reinforce pretty quickly. Only 10% of control for the side of Yikes. They have to get on and fight this now. And this is kind of what Selfless wants to do. They want to get four people on the point. Maybe we the ceiling is close by. Iman, though, into the pit. Yeah, that attack visor is pretty nasty. Defran working off from the side. He's found himself two XQC and Duhun. And you can see now that Dante has to go in and try and find it, but he couldn't get close enough. The hook doesn't quite connect to Sinatra, and Michael 3D gets booped off. Duhun is going nuts with these right clicks, by the way. Kresnik's back in the corner, and Defran, that's so disgusting. Two kills for the one Helix Rocket. Duhun and Dante go down. XQC tries to keep things alive here, but Selfless are definitely pressuring to take the point. 
Well, they're just going to put Baby Diva on the point, and now the Mercy will come on the point. A nice Primal Rage comes in late. They do jump off it for a moment, so the stall no longer a matter. That's why XQC just takes his hands off the mouse and keyboard and gives it up. 45% already, though. However, the big thing is Selfless has now taken control, and they will have alt control. Earth Shatter's gonna be there, Whole Hog's gonna be there, there's gonna be a self-destruct and a sound barrier now, and then Whole Hog is gonna come out. A lot of it nullified by the defensive matrix, but that doesn't last forever. And for the moment, a little bit of stall was bought. Yikes had to back away, they lost Pizza amongst, amongst her, and Hun might get hooked in for extra stall, but he manages to boot and back himself away. Alright, this is very aggressive hold, and the reason you hold this aggressive is hoping they come in to try to speed boost in, then you get one of these giant shatters on them. However, that plan is thwarted as the rotation came around from at least half of Yikes as they just start putting bodies on the point. Yeah, space as well. Got his defensive matrix in the back line, so Michael couldn't heal Sinatra, but eventually he's just going to drop the self-destruct in there, and that forces Michael Freed to come around the corner. Space just bops him in the head with a bunny blaster, and he's done with it. Sinatra also fell by that self-destruct. Not a good result at all here for Selfish. Better getting cut down before this fight. Now the self struck in over the top, it doesn't catch on towards anyone. Dante, however, goes off the edge. Well, I think it's really smart from Yikes to play how they're playing. They do need to grab this point back at some point, but they know that Selfless is running Death Ball and that they're best when all six are together in the same spot. So they decided to split up in squads, send three one way, three the other, and then Selfless didn't quite know how to respond. They are still spelling this out very well on the point and will reach nearly 80% by the time all is said and done. Oh, space there again. Again, finds kill in Midi Diva form. Managed to get the headshot on towards Sinatra, and Ginger Pop had that very crucial res. That's a very important one. The fight was so weak, and that, that could well make the difference. Goodbye to Grenade from Michael 3D, but there's no follow up there. Selfless are pushed back, and the Pulse Bomb claims the Anna's life. Ginger Pop was found by, by DeFrano around the side, but he was on his own, and the rest of Yikes came to respond. Now it's 61 to 77. Another couple of fights held, and this will be Yikes' map. Dante's been great on this Tracer today. I think last time I saw him, I thought he was very good. I think he was running the D.Va a lot of the time, and I thought his D.Va was underrated. His Tracer has been sticking bomb after bomb. We're getting into what very well could be the last fight here. Primal Rage up for Yikes. Kresnik has his shatter. This needs to connect. He needs to find some way to make this really effective. Maybe shut down XQC or something similar. It is on Kresnik right now, as Michael 3D has already gone down to Dante. He's caught up in the corner, though. There's nothing he can do. He's spending all this time just trying to protect himself with the Pharaoh Rockets coming in, but that's a brilliant hook. Sinatra finds Dante as he's trying to harass those larger targets, and Kresnik now has a little bit more space to move on the point. Speaking of which, he gets desuited, of course. Space and is trying to hang around. Space again with a Bunny Blast, and looking for some more damage, and that's Zara over the top. That's going to be the felling blow. He comes in with a nice barrage. Krisnik falls back down. Overtime done. Yikes are going to win this map, and they're going to win the series 2-0. He never gave Krasnik a good target for Shatter.